Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today, since we are in the middle of fall here in November, um, we could do a fall tree picture, or autumn, whichever way we saw it. Let's say it. Down here in the south, we call it the fall. Um, but you can see I'm, I did a lot of different trees of different sizes. This is a great project for younger learners to start working on those cutting skills and um, and of course our drawing skills. We have a little bit of drawing on this, not too much. But if you are nervous about how much detail is in this picture, all you need to do is make sure you have an adult with you, some kind of a grown up or an older sibling who could maybe help with the cutting part. But once we get through this cutting part, you guys are gonna be rock stars to this. I can feel it. Um, so let's get started. For this project, you are going to need a pair of scissors, something to draw with. I'm going to be using a Sharpie, a lot of different colored pieces of paper, and a background piece. So this background piece is my biggest piece, and then the rest of this will be used for my actual picture. This tan color is going to be my ground, but if you want to do a more traditional ground, you can of course do green. I just thought for fall, it might be nice if it was a different color than green. But um, and then you're going to need either glue or tape to secure this to the paper. Let's get started. The first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and get um, the background prepared. So I have this lovely piece of blue paper for my sky and this tan piece I said was going to be my ground. You can do whatever kind of ground you want. I'm going to do, it might be easier if I draw it so you can see it first. I'm going to do kind of a curvy line for my ground. Now, not super curvy like the ocean, but just a little bit, kind of like it's a hill. It broke a little bit there, but I'm gonna cut it out anyways. But just a gentle hill kind of a situation. And I'm gonna cut that out. Now that that's cut out, I can glue it down to my picture for the ground. So now that I have my ground done, I can put this to the side and I can start focusing on my trees. So I grabbed a whole bunch of different colors for my trees. May not use this color. I hadn't decided yet. I think I might. It, this green is just super duper bright. But what I'm going to do is I am going to draw some circles for these trees. So all that looks like and it can be ovals. I might go to this edge so that it's not super duper um, wasteful. I'm gonna just start drawing different size circles. So circle, maybe a little skinnier oval this time. And see there, they are different sizes and that's okay. I was doing that on purpose. Um, but I'm just gonna draw a lot of different ones of this. So go ahead and start drawing yourself some circles. And like I said, I'm staying in the corner so that when I cut this, I still have all of this paper that I can save and I'm only gonna waste just a little bit of paper. So once you have your circles drawn, you need to cut them out. So I went back and I cut a few more. I don't know if I'll need all of these, but um, I just felt like I wanted to have a few more of these with me. So what you're gonna do now, which sounds a little crazy and forgive me, I'm trying to make sure my camera is pointed where it needs to be. Um, what you're gonna do now, is we're gonna start putting some lines inside. So it's gonna kinda of look like leaves for a minute, but your lines can be different for each tree. It kinda of just depends on where you want. So what I'm gonna do for this first one is what we think of when we think of an actual tree, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna bring a line up, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring a line off this way Go up a little bit, 
a line off this way. Go up a little bit. A line off this way. And maybe one little one up here. Now I could stop it there and that would be fine. Or I can do a couple more little branches off of each one. So watch what I do if I'm doing those little branches. I start on a line. One. On the line again. Two. On the line. One. On the line. Two. And I'm going to do that to each branch. Good. So, super duper little easy tree. Not a huge deal. Now, we can do something a little different for this one where I make one line that comes up like the first one, like I was going to start the, the regular one. And then what if instead of doing those little Y's, I did a bunch of lines. One, two, one, two, one, If I had more room, I could put more, but you could just end it there. And that's That still looks like a tree to me. I could even do something different here. I could make my line all the way up from the bottom, make a little dot. And then I could make every line off of my tree have a dot at the end. Like that. Um, obviously, you're saying you can do whatever you want to to our trees to make them look like actual trees. I could even do something as simple as making a line all the way up and then cutting lines across. That's a super easy way to do this. But each one of my circles, I'm going to decorate. So now that I have all of my trees decorated, I can start figuring out where I want them. Now my big trees, if I have bigger ones, they're going to go towards the back of my picture. And it's okay if they overlap a little bit. Um, some of them are going to have to overlap and that's totally fine. Um, but if you look, I'm somewhere up here in the blue. I don't want to be way down here yet because my little trees are going to go down there. So I could put little trees in front of my bigger trees, kind of going across like that. Now it doesn't have to look exactly like that, obviously. You can change it up however you like. Um, and that's why I'm kind of playing with it before I glue them down. But bigger ones at the back, smaller ones at the front is what you want to focus on. So let's go ahead and glue these down. So once I get done gluing my trees down where I want them, I only have to draw their um, trunk. Now, the tree trunks that I'm gonna draw are just for the little ones. I'm not gonna worry about the big ones. We're gonna pretend that the, you can't see them. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that marker I had earlier, or whatever I was using to draw, and I'm gonna make some lines that come down from the little trees and into the tan ground paper I have. Now, that's pretty simple. Um, if you wanted to add anything up here to the sky, I have a lot of people want to add like a sunshine or something, maybe a circle of yellow there for the sun. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. It's a pretty simple little project. It's a lot of cutting and a lot of gluing. But once you get past that, it's pretty simple for some of you. So I hope you had fun, and I'll see you later.